Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. I wanna make this quick video to show you that I sent an email, a broadcast email from within GrooveMail, and I received it, and I wanna show you exactly what that looks like in this video starting right now. So here we are inside of GrooveMail. Of course, here is the home dashboard. We'll go into leads. First, you have to create a list. You can see here I have one active content, then you go into leads. Now you can see here that I have an actual contact, which is myself, so I could email myself. And you can click there, and you can see there that there is still some coming soon information as far as the other statistics that you'll be able to see about this contact, but you can see the content right there, or the contact right there, and you can see it has no tags, but it is applied or connected to a test list. So you go back to that list, there you can see the list right there, this lead was added manually under new lead. If you click right there, I just added the first name, last name, and email, and I just created that lead when I added it to the list right there. And then what you do is you come down, you go to campaigns, and you can go under broadcast. And you can see right here, I created a broadcast called send broadcast. And you can see right there, the status of that email is sent. If you click here and you view that, yes, you can see right here, the ID, uh, sent broadcast test subject and then the message right there But it's very simple to create that broadcast. You just create a new campaign. You just walk through these steps We'll go ahead and just create another one Test again, and we'll just walk through this so you can see exactly how it works Send by email down here. You change your sender name send from email. You should be able to change all this information right here We'll go ahead and see if we can update that can't update that here, it must be updated under your business settings, but it doesn't change here. So we'll go ahead and save and next. Subscribe to list, select test list, go ahead and add that. Lead selected, the one that I have in the test list, we'll go ahead and save and next. Send a message, test two. And then we'll go ahead and insert some text. This is test two. To, and we'll go ahead and play around with the little tags here. First name to see if it picks that up from email. And then we'll go ahead and we'll save and next right there. Then you can save as draft, schedule for later, or you can send it now. We'll go ahead and send it now. Save and next. And as you can see, congratulations, your broadcast has ready to send email. Well, that didn't make any sense. Your broadcast has ready to send email. Well, they got a typo there. They need to fix that. So broadcast, new broadcast sender, 30 minute marketing, 30 minute marketing at Gmail. There should be a way to change that somewhere in the settings. Probably down here under settings. Yep, right here, send your info, business info. You can change this and save that right there. Unsubscribe text, send your info. We'll play around with that next time. We'll go back to campaigns. Go ahead and look at our broadcast. You can see right there, new test, email was sent. Let's pop over to our email and see if we got the message. So here we are in my email. As you can see here, 30 minute marketing, hello from Groove. This was the first one that I sent. So you can see right here, this is a test. There's some type of image here. I'm not sure what that is. If you wish to stop receiving our emails or change your subscriptions, you can see down here the default, your business name, your business address. Of course, those are required for spam. So you can say right here, click here if you wanna unsubscribe and you'll see what that looks like. You can see the hash code there and the name of the list. Let's go back and take a look at the other message. Here that is, test two. This is test to Gary. Of course, we put that code in there for first name as well as from, and we put the email tag in there or short code, and you can see there that that is working as well. Then if you wish to stop receiving our emails, you can see here this is test list as well. It's the same list that you'll be unsubscribing from. If we click unsubscribe, let's see if it actually unsubscribes us. Okay, I didn't get any feedback from that. Not sure what's happening there. Let's go back to Groove and see what happened. So here we are back inside of Groove under the broadcast. We'll go ahead and refresh this to see if our statistics have changed and updated. So we didn't get any opens on either one of those. Of course here, if we were to click view on that, you can see here the clicks and the opens aren't registering yet, but you can see the message. So it is working. Let's go down to analytics and see what we have here. Let's see our analytics under list. We have one active contact. We were unable to unsubscribe, but you can see coming soon there. 
So anyway, the lead is still there under leads. You can see the lead that I created right there under new lead. It is in that list. You can see under campaigns, I created a broadcast and you can see both of those emails were delivered. So if you tested out GrooveMail, go ahead, drop me a comment and say, yay GrooveMail. If you haven't, let me know as well. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content just like these videos you see right here. Click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.